show you how I turn this pressure treated lumber and these cedar fence pickets, along with some hardware, into some DIY outdoor privacy screens. First, I started by unloading all the lumber. I'm making two, that's why you see so much wood here. Up next, I cut the ends off the pressure treated 2x4s to give them a nice clean 90 degree edge starting point. These 2x4 pieces are going to be the cross supports between the 4x4 posts. Then to ensure that all the cross supports were the same length, I set up a stop block using a square and a couple of clamps. And started cutting. Next up, I laid out where I wanted the cross supports to go. One at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom of where the screens are gonna be. I measured from the top of each post to make sure that these would all line up. With the layout done, it was assembly time. And to attach the 2x4 cross supports to the posts, I'm gonna be using Simpson Strong Ties FB24Z fence brackets and number nine, one and one half inch strong drive connector screws. Both are galvanized, which basically means they have a coating on them, which will help them last longer than a standard screw. Plus, they're easy to install. I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Simpson Strong Tie. For more than 55 years, Simpson Strong Tie has focused on creating structural products that help people build safer and stronger homes and buildings. They have connectors for almost every project imaginable, and they're what I used when I built my patio. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you checking it out. When installing the hardware on the middle post, you will need to put fence brackets on both sides. Be sure to have the brackets faced the same way so that you have the same correct amount of spacing when we get to the next step of adding the decorative cedar slats. If you would like to build yourself some DIY privacy screens, I have a set of plans linked in the description box below. They include dimensions, shopping list, cut list, tool list, and some tips. When screwing in the 2x4s to the hardware, I recommend starting with screwing in the back screw first and then screwing in each side. If you're enjoying this video, please hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you never miss another awesome build. And if you want to keep up with what I'm working on right now, make sure you're following me on Instagram at The Awesome Orange. Once the frame is assembled, it's time to start attaching the slats. First step was to draw a line down the middle so we know where to start our chevron pattern at. And then I set up the miter saw to 22 and a half degrees and started cutting all of the dog ears off of the cedar fence pickets. To install the slats, I used exterior rated wood glue and one and one quarter inch long galvanized staples. I chose staples because they will hold the two pieces together tightly, but won't be as visible as using screws. The first row is the most important to get just right because it's gonna set up how the rest of the slats are going to lay. 
And for spacing, I used a couple of three quarter inch plywood scraps. Um, this space allows for air to flow through the screens and since there are some inconsistencies in the cedar slats, the spacing in between allows you to make adjustments along the way as you install your slats. Once you have all your full length pieces installed, it's time to finish up those bottom corners and the top. To do this, I just laid a piece of the cedar fence pickets over the board, drew a line underneath, and then using my jigsaw, cut that out. And then attached it like the rest of them. What you don't see in the video is to attach those last little slats at the very top, I ended up screwing a piece of the pressure treated two x four up there so I had something to staple the last little slats to. Then came a very satisfying part, trimming all of those ends off. I determined what I wanted my overhang to be, put an edge guide clamp to it and used my jigsaw to cut it. Um, a circular saw might have been easier at this point, but the jigsaw totally worked. And voila, we have some privacy screens. Last step for me was to stain. And we figured out an awesome way to stand the screens up using clamps. This saved a ton of time and my back. Then I talked my brother into helping me stain using an outdoor stain and sealer in one. These outdoor sealers are a pain in the butt and you basically have to move fast and always keep a wet edge or else you're gonna get lap marks. Once the stain was dry, my job was done. My client picked up the screens, had her landscaper install them, and then she sent me some awesome pics. I love how these transformed her backyard. If you enjoyed this build, please comment below and hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And if you wanna be notified when my next build video comes out, hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more DIY projects and building awesome adventures. Have an awesome day.